For the best results when creating and texturing models, create a second set of UVs to establish how your lighting should be displayed on static meshes. To know if a model has a set of light map UVs, by selecting the mesh in the inspector, you will see at the bottom of the display UV and UV2. If you created, downloaded, or purchased a model that is going to be static and doesn't have a set of light map UVs, Unity does have a feature that can automatically generate this second light map UV set. That said, for the best result, generating them inside of your 3D authoring package will give you far more control and allow you to create smaller light maps with less seams. For example, within Maya, we can see one of our stage border objects for our maze. Within the UV editor, we can see the first set of UVs which we use to texture our model. If you now look at our second UV set, our light map UVs, you'll notice that our UVs are laid out totally different. The key to laying out good light map UVs is taking into account how the lights will be casted upon the model. Generally, this breaks down to placing the UV seams in areas which the light will bend and fold around the object. For example, in the areas the light will curve around the edge, the UVs are sewed together. However, in the sharp corners, the UVs are separated. This can also be seen with the top section of the model, which is all one UV set. And while the advanced settings of Unity's Generate Light Map UVs does try to take some of these things into account, generally, the results will be far better if the second UV set was created and correctly laid out in a modeling program.